we have talked about games that are hyped like crazy and then they just do not live up to the expectations that everybody thinks they should be because of how they were hyped. But what about games that did meet the hype? It's pretty tough to make a game that gamers manage to hype up like crazy and then it still satisfies us. We are these just, I don't know, gamers want more and more and more, but it has happened plenty of times. What's up guys? Jimmy here, welcome to Chaos Top 10, and today we are going to be taking a look at and counting down the 10 most overhyped games that lived up to the hype and they were actually still worth it. Before we get into it, we are running a $200 Amazon gift card giveaway the entire month. All you have to do to enter is like this video, be subscribed, turn on your notifications, and leave a comment why you want to win it with your Twitter handle attached. I will announce the winner at the end of the month on Twitter. Take advantage of the giveaway. Make sure you are subscribed with your notifications on. And I'm feeling good today. Let's get into this. Let's go over some overhyped games that actually lived up to the hype. At number 10, kicking off our list, if you are a Battlefield fan, you are going to enjoy this one. Battlefield 1, most recent entry in the Battlefield franchise. Dyson EA knew that they had to knock it out of the park with their new game since Battlefield Hardline, well, it wasn't very well received. And Battlefield 4 was kind of a disaster at launch. It got better, but it took weeks and weeks to get better. Hype started to grow for the new game once the theme was revealed to be World War I, and hype got even bigger once the first multiplayer trailer dropped. So did it live up to the expectations? Well, I'll let you guys decide in the comment section, but I say yes, Battlefield 1 is an absolute blast and many consider it to be one of the best Battlefield games, period. I definitely think that the franchise is back on track after this one and I know everyone likes to gauge them next to Call of Duty, but you kind of have to gauge it for what it is. I want to know, do you enjoy Battlefield 1? At number 9, we have Mass Effect 2, one of the most popular RPG franchises ever is Mass Effect. And after the first game, people were hyped like crazy. They wanted more. And to be fair, every entry in the franchise has been hyped. But in my opinion, Mass Effect 2 was the only one that really managed to exceed the expectations. Mass Effect 3 had that disastrous ending, and Mass Effect Andromeda was a pretty big letdown for most. But Mass Effect 2 is a near-perfect game. Improved combat and even better story, gorgeous graphics, and a lot, lot more. Mass Effect 2 is referred to many as the best in the series, and honestly, I can't really argue with that. At number 8, we have Super Smash Bros. for Wii U. When the Wii U was announced, it was pretty confusing whether or not it was an actual console or just an accessory, which is ultimately what led to its failure. But, despite the console flopping as a whole, there were tons of great games on it. One of those being Super Smash Bros, aka Smash 4. Hype was nuts leading up to the game's release due to all the new features like amiibo support, custom characters, 8-player mode, and the massive, massive roster, boasting 58 playable characters. When it was released, the game definitely met the hype. Smash 4 is a ton of fun to play with friends due to the sheer amount of content packed into the game and just the addictive nature of Smash itself. If you don't have a Wii U, you could probably grab one pretty cheap now and it's definitely worth the money just for this game, just for Smash 4. At number 7, we have Halo 3. Leading up to Halo 3's release, I cannot even describe the hype that was surrounding this game. Halo 1 and 2 were masterpieces, and Halo 2's campaign had such a painful cliffhanger of an ending that we couldn't wait for it to be resolved. Me, personally. Halo 3 definitely did not disappoint. The campaign, I mean, it was a little on the lackluster side, I'll admit, but it was still really good. The multiplayer was perfect in every way. It had great map design, awesome weapons, vehicles, tons of customization options for both you and your character, and the maps and game modes themselves, thanks to Forge and the custom game settings. Halo 3 was the most played game on Xbox Live for years and years following its release, and the custom games were so popular that some of the modes created by players were eventually made permanent game modes like Griff Ball, which was created by the members Rooster Teeth. And I mean, if you've never experienced Halo 3 in its prime, it is worth going, it's worth it. It's going to be backwards compatible on the Xbox One soon. So definitely give it a try. It is worth every penny and you will never run out of things to do in that game. There was not only a lot of hype surrounding this game, but also a lot of skepticism due to the amount of direction changes during development. At number 6, we have Doom 2016. The game started as Doom 4, but was soon scrapped completely and rebuilt from the ground up as a reboot with the new direction and developers. However, 
After the first few trailers, people were sold on the buildup of the hype once again. When it finally came out, Doom was widely regarded as one of the best games of the year. It was everything. It was fast-paced, it was different, it managed to feel unique and fresh in a massive sea of other first-person shooters. ID Software and Bethesda knocked it out of the park with the Doom reboot, in my opinion, and I can't wait to see what they have in store for a sequel, which everybody is hoping comes soon. Cracking into the top five, we have The Witcher 3. This game was supposed to be the best open world RPG of the year, and in my opinion, it succeeded. One of the most critically acclaimed game in years, The Witcher 3 released in May of 2015, and it blew everybody out of the water. The first two games in the series were fantastic, so you guys could imagine the hype leading up to the release of the third one. But when the game came out, no one was disappointed. It's hard to impress gamers, trust me. It was beautiful, it had awesome combat and progression, and the story was incredibly long and had tons of choices for the player you to make. If you're a fan of the fantasy RPGs, you definitely want to try out Witcher 3 if you never have. At number four, we have Gears of War 3. After Gears of War 1 redefined, and I mean that, redefined the third-person shooter genre, and Gears of War 2 introduced us to Horde Mode, one of the most copied and most addicting game modes ever, Hype was through the roof for the conclusion to the epic trilogy. Here comes Gears of War 3. It launched in September 20th of 2011 to critical acclaim from both critics and gamers. Gears 3 introduced four-player co-op, beast mode, Horde 2.0, tons of new multiplayer modes and weapons, and the campaign was per it was a perfect way to wrap up the trilogy. All of the original Gears of War games are backwards compatible on the Xbox One, but if you've never played a Gears game, I definitely recommend you pick them up and try all of them. At number three, we have GTA 5, Grand Theft Auto 5. With a series as legendary as GTA, the hype for any new game is going to be insane. It's auto hype. I bet some of you even remember the build-up to GTA 5's release. Billboards were everywhere. The pre-sale numbers were insane. The game was famously made back to its ridiculously expensive budget just hours after release. So was it worth all the hype? Of course it was. Three protagonists in an extremely well-written and interesting story, a huge map with seemingly endless things to do, and a new online mode that, while it had a tough launch, is extremely addicting and endlessly entertaining now. GTA 5 is such a good game, it's still going strong to this day with regular updates and expansions to GTA Online. It is definitely well-deserving of the number three spot on this list. At number two, we have The Elder Scrolls V, Skyrim. I'm not sure how many of you have played the earlier Elder Scrolls games, but if you have, then you know why people were excited for this game to come out. Every game in the franchise is solid. Elder Scrolls just seems like one of those franchises that can do no wrong. When Skyrim was announced, people were definitely excited, and for good reason, because I'm sure you guys are all aware of just how great this game is. It's still considered to this day to be the best RPG of all time, and it seems like Bethesda definitely isn't complaining because it seems like they're re-releasing it every five minutes. But can you blame them? For the great storied hours and hours of possible exploration to the deep lore, Skyrim was definitely worth the hype and definitely worth the number two spot on this list. Okay, we have reached the number one spot on today's video. I want you guys to guess in the comment section on Twitter. Let me know if you got it right. What was a really, really overhyped game that lived up to all the hype? Well, I am going to introduce to... The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild for number one. When Nintendo first started work on Breath of the Wild back in 2014, hype was building fast. The Zelda fans are a very energetic bunch, and you can't really blame them because, well, Zelda games are fantastic, except for the CDI ones. We don't talk about those much. Those are way, way back. While the game itself was delayed a few times, that only made fans more and more eager to get their hands on it, especially after Nintendo stated multiple times in interviews that the new game was going to be something different and definitely not like a traditional Zelda game. Breath of the Wild finally came out in March 3rd of 2017 to universal critical and fan acclaim, with some calling it the best Nintendo game to be released in the last decade, which is super high accolades, and some even calling it one of the best games of all time. Nintendo really needed a killer app to sell the Nintendo Switch, and they got it. A lot of people say the only people, only reason people buy the Switch is for Breath of the Wild. So it definitely, definitely deserved to be number one on this list, in my opinion. Of course, I'm a Zelda fanboy, so it's maybe it's a little biased. You guys let me know. And there you have it, my friends. Those are 10 overhyped games that ended up being worth every penny. You guys let me know what was your most overhyped game that you bought 
and you were not disappointed because so many times now we get overhyped games, we get them, and they're kind of lackluster. We're like, ugh, that wasn't exactly what they said it would be. There is a playlist below if you want to check out all the other gaming top tens, a brand new one every single night at 8 o'clock Central Standard Time. Make sure you guys are subscribed. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like on it. I'll be back tomorrow night, same time, same place, with a brand new video.